Médecins Sans Frontières is providing care in 70 countries. Each time we go in a new country in a war zone, we discover more and more patients infected with multidrug resistant bacteria. They are arriving with the wrong antibiotics given to them. Antibiotic resistance is everywhere. If we don't act today, we'll have 10 million deaths per year by 2050. Once you identify that there is a bacteria, you do multiple tests to know which type of bacteria it is, and then you test the sensitivity of several antibiotics in order to identify the most effective one. There is an additional step that is the interpretation of those results. In the majority of the countries where we work, there is a lack of microbiologists and human resources to do this interpretation step. Anwar, he is 10 year old and his injury was a bullet. It exploded inside his leg. He has very resistant type of infection. We are the last hope for Anwar. I thought AI might be one of the solutions to this problem. We developed an application to help lab technicians to interpret the results of diagnosis tests only using their mobile phones. We're using TensorFlow, computer vision and machine learning to detect interactions happening between the bacteria and antibiotics based on an uploaded image of the petri dish. Our goal is not to replace the lab technicians. The app is really meant to support them in doing their diagnosis tests whilst always keeping a human in the loop. We managed to train a model within a matter of days using Keras and 15,000 anonymized pictures of diagnosis tests. The API was super expressive and it was surprisingly really quick and easy to achieve. We are deploying the app using TensorFlow Lite so it can be used offline on any range of mobile devices in all of our clinics. Today we have a prototype. We've got a responsibility to make the diagnostic test available, easy, affordable, all over the world. I'm excited because for me this application can be a game changer that's going to help millions and millions of people. For Anwar, there is one antibiotic suitable for this infection. I think this app, it will solve many problems everywhere in the world.